For years I've been playing this riff and always thought it sounds okay, but I wondered why it didn't sound quite right to the record. This was until YouTube served me this video, and now I know why. So let me take you back where I discovered this song. I was lucky to see the Manic Street Preachers at Radio 1 Live Cardiff 98, and the next day they released This Is The Truth, Tell Me Yours. Hearing the album, My Little Empire was a standout track, and is actually James Dean Bradfield's favourite track too. Favourite tracks off the album at the moment, that's out tomorrow as well. Mm. My at Little Empire moment. for me. My Little Empire. Yeah. After hearing this, I had to learn it. My guitar teacher transcribed this for me, and even though I couldn't play it at the time, this was the transcription he came up with. As you can hear, it sounds all right, but there was just something missing from it. The actual track had much more emotion to it, and it was something I was missing. Now, I don't know how or why, but one day, the YouTube algorithm served me up this video. Oh, and if you can, hit that like button and subscribe so this can reach more people too. This video blew me away. James Dean Bradfield is an amazing singer-songwriter, but I couldn't believe his guitar skills in this video. He's such an underrated guitar player. I'll be definitely doing another video on him soon. Best bit about the video, my world was complete. He played My Little Empire. <laughs> His fingers were just in a completely different place to mine. And straight away I realised why I was struggling with it so much when he said this. It's a tune in mate. Don't know what it is. Damn, I mean, it's in the tuning that even he doesn't know what it is. What hope did I have? You tune the D up to F, I think, and you tune the, the B and the G down two frets. Uh, I don't know what that is, but that's what it is. So after working this out, he did actually say the D went up to an F. In actual fact, the D actually goes up to an E, but the other two notes do go down a tone. So the tuning is E, A, E, F, A, E. So no wonder I couldn't friggin' work this out. So I'll stick the tabs for this and the standard tuning version in the description below. So here is the riff he plays, and then we'll compare the standard tuning version to this altered tuning version, just to see what merits we get from the altered tuning. <laughs> is more open strings that are rubbing against each other on the alternate version. Then we have the pull-off. Now on the pull-off on the fretted version, we actually have to use fretted notes, whereas the alternate version, we're actually hearing lots of open strings. And in bar two, we're hearing pretty much the same thing. On the standard tune, we have to fret a lot of notes. There's less chance of the notes playing against each other, creating a different feel. So in bar three, you can see that standard tuning version has got a big old stretch, so it's much easier to play the alternate version. And the last bar is also the same way you don't actually have to stretch as much to achieve the same sound. Basically, the alternate version, in my opinion, is easier to play and it has got more of an emotional sound to it. What do you think? I made another discovery the other day where I saw John Squire played Bye Bye Badman in a completely different way than our first four. Go and click on that video where you'll actually find out exactly how he plays it. 